What's up everybody, Big M25 coming at you live and today I'm going to open up one of the Pokemon Sun and Moon theme decks. Uh, I'm going with the Roaring Heat or the Incineroar uh, deck, theme deck this, uh, this time because I just didn't want to do all three. I felt that it would be a little monotonous, uh, but I, do, I did get all three. I do have the uh, Primarina and the Decidueye decks here. They're all very cool, but again, it gets a little monotonous. It's just a, kind of the same stuff, different color in each box, if you will. Um, I did choose this. I, I chose Litten in, in the video game. I play the video game a lot. Litten is the uh, obviously the fire starter, the fire cat looking guy. Uh, he evolves into Litten. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Litten into uh, Tora Cat, and then he evolves into um, Incineroar. And I do like the move set they picked for Incineroar uh, on the card. He does cut, have the Darkest Lariat move, which is pretty awesome in the game. I mean, he clenches his fist. It kind of looks like what he's doing here. Uh, spins around and just beats down on the opponent. It's pretty cool. Um, also, I did want to open this one up on the channel because in the in the set here, you see, of course, you know, in the front on the back, you have the set list. It's in this actual box. Um, you get your local card shop for about $12. So it, it, you'll see the value in it. It's definitely worth it, um, even though it does tell you what's in there. But we do have an Oranguru, which is this uh, purple gorilla-looking guy right here. He is by far, uh, at first glance, my favorite-looking Pokemon of Gen 7. Seventh generation, right? Yeah. Uh, so far, uh, I haven't I haven't got to catch him because I am playing Sun. So off the trade with uh, one of my friends that's playing Moon or whatnot uh, to get him in my game. I do want to see his moves, see what he can do. But just looking at him, he's beastly. I like it. I do like him. Uh, but also, I, I did catch Crab Brawler uh, in the game, and he's cool looking too. He's like a little fighting crab. He's like uh, purple and blue. He's cool looking. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's crack this bad boy open. Show you what you get uh, in here. All right. So, like always, you're going to get the uh, card you see up front, of course. This is your uh, big boy of the box. Uh, this is Incineroar, like I said, Darkest Larry, 100 times. So flip two coins, this attack does 100 damage for each heads. Beast move in the game, beast move on the uh, TCG. So a nice little uh, hollow there. Pretty awesome. 160 HP. I love it. And you can see, uh, if you have not seen any Sun and Moon videos yet, for the trading cards, uh, the border is a little different. You know, the uh, the outline, the detail, the print, they went different this time, and I am not hating it. I'm not hating it whatsoever. I really do like it. Uh, the game piece, I'll hold on to those ones. And then we have the uh, coin. You know, flip, heads or tails, all that good stuff. And this is lit on there. Nice red. Very cool coin to play with. I like it. Uh, and then, let's see. Yes. Here we go. So this is like, you know, your pieces, your, your damage counters, all that good stuff, your poison, your burn. Uh, and now we have a, a new a new piece. So this part to the game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, obviously they have GX cards and this GX moves. You leave this face up, you get one GX move per game. Uh, after you use it, you flip it over to this side. So that's the new game piece there. Pretty cool. And then we'll show you the two-player mat that they come with. They are all the same. None of them vary in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but that's the playing mat. You got all three of the starters on there. You got the blue side. Uh, there's the uh, yeah, your active Pokemon. All that good stuff. And then we'll flip it around and show you this side. Like one of the trials in the video games and stuff. And you know, they actually, uh, if you're playing the video game, they have a How card. How the, your little friend there that you battle like in all the games. Um, she won't spoil that because this has the set list and GX cards on it. It's an actual little pamphlet there. Um, but yeah, they, they made him a trainer card and Lily too. So those are the two, like your two, you know, your two peers in the game. They made those as trainers, which I thought was pretty cool. Didn't see it coming. I don't know why, but yeah, as you can see, energies are all different now. So it, I, you know, I feel like less is more this time and this is pretty awesome. So, I mean, you just got the little border at the bottom. You have the energy itself. And that's pretty much it. You got the small little writing energy and the type of the top. I like this. I really am a fan. It, it, it's less is more, like I said. It's pretty cool. So you got a bunch of those, of course. And then there's a Sandy Ghast. Another new Pokemon. And yes, it is a Sand Castle. Um, this is the ground uh, type energy. Like I said, I think they're really cool. You know, I, I like how they're different. And I like it's a new generation. They're kind of getting us into it now. And it's happening. It's taking off. I do like it. I like how they printed all the stuff. We got Torkoal in there, Nest Ball, some more. There's Lynn. Guy's a beast. I like that starter. I'm glad I started with him. Uh, I got a Timer Ball, Makuhita, another energy, Rog and Rolla, Ultra Ball, and the Professor. And then this is obviously like your Professor Oak and whatnot in the game. Uh, again, draw two cards. During this turn, your uh, Pokemon's attack does attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So not bad at all. Uh, you got Stuffle. Yes, that's right, Stuffle. Uh, Boldor, some energies. There's how. There's that draw three cards like Tierno 
from uh, X and Y, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's Toracat, there's the middle, the second evolution there for him. Uh, decent second evolved, you know, I really like this one. Um, I just, I, I, the way they look is why I picked the fire Pokemon. There's Lily. Uh, yeah, so I figured over the, like, the owl looking one or this, I don't know, the sea lion type carnival seal, whatever Pop Leo Primarina is. There's the Crab Brawler. Yeah, I just thought Lynn looked the best. But there's Crab Brawler. He's so cool. His moves are alright. They're alright. I wouldn't put him in the top 10 for best, you know, Pokemon so far in the game. But he's awesome to look at. He does get you through some fights in the game. Of course, a potion. There's Passimian, the uh, gorilla that was on the back looking guy. I like him a lot too, but we got that Oranguru coming up and I can't wait to see him. <laughs> so we got the Netball. Another one. Energy Retrieval. Litten. Torkoal. There's the fire, another Rog and Rolla, some more ground, Makita, Bulldor, another Tora Cat. Of course, it's a theme deck, so you got to have the doubles in case they get knocked out in battle. And then the big Malasada. By the way, I did not realize that a Malasada in the game was a donut. I honestly thought it was either some type of tortilla wrapper or a salad. I may not have been paying attention or reading the game, but whatever. I did not know it was a donut. Now I do. Uh, Lin, Incineroar, the Beware, the Beware. Uh, from Stuffle, because the Sandy Gas, and uh, Palosand. You know, like Pound Sand, but Palosand. There's the uh, Sandcastle evolution there. And the Stuffle again, there's another Crab Brawler, and Tor Cat again, and Pass Simeon. Oranguru is coming up, you get a couple Hows. There he is. Oh, God, I love that guy. So awesome. Has an ability, of course, Instruct. Uh, once during your turn, before your attack, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. 120 HP, he, has his, he comes with one move, the Psychic. That costs three colorless energy. Uh, the attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. 60 plus. Cannot go wrong. Such an all He's a beast. So I already like him better in the card game uh, than the regular video game. Because I obviously don't have him yet. But that's awesome. Another Litten. God, that guy's cool. I think he's cool looking. I think he's one of my favorite. Definitely for this generation. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what you get. You get the deck with all your energies, a 60 card deck playable, you know, right here, right now. There's the uh, little hollow card there for Incineroar. Again, you got the coin, the new GX piece. Uh, there are new rules to the burn. Uh, I can't, I don't remember what they are. Please let me know in the comments. I forgot. Uh, I could probably just read the paper anyway. Um, but it does, yeah, there's new rules for burn. If, you're, if your Pokemon's burnt or your opponent's Pokemon's burnt, all that good stuff. Got your damage counters, of course. That's that stuff. Little box to carry it in in case you don't have one of those nice M2 boxes. Uh, I recommend going out and buying an M2 box. Those things are awesome. It's perfect for Pokemon play. You can put your uh, damage counters, your GX card, uh, the dice, and the coin, of course, in the top part, and then the bottom part opens up. And you can stick, I think, 75 double-sleeved cards in there. So yeah, you get all that, and for about 12 bucks at your local card shop, maybe even a little bit cheaper if you're good, if you get a good enough guy um, to supply it. But yeah, like I said, I do have the others as well. Got the Decidui and the Primarina deck. They all entail the same idea. So I think it's definitely worth it, definitely a great value. Um, I, I would recommend getting it, just to, just to have a new Generation 7 ready to go uh, deck. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. Like this video, leave me a comment, uh, and subscribe for future openings. Thanks, guys. Peace.